In the second part of the tutorial, we will take a look at editing the Premiere Pro version of the Virtual Studio 5 template. Inside the project, you will find 00 main edition, which is empty but prepare to have all the elements added to it. Next, we have the Assets folder, which contains all the elements used in building this template. Then we have the Elements folder, which contains the intros, the lower third designs, the transitions elements, and finally we have the scenes folder, which contains all the angle studio shots. So let's make a simple addition. First, let's add an intro. Let's also add the intro text title. The text title doesn't have any transition effect, so to add a quick fade, we'll need to go to the Effects tab, Video Transitions, Dissolve, and choose the Cross Dissolve. Next, let's add Angle 01 and Angle 02 into the main edition. And we'll add transition 01 above. Inside the angle 02 sequence, there are two empty video spots, one for the talent chroma key and one for the screen video. So let's import the screen footage and the chroma key footage. Select file import and choose your files drop the files into the sequence and reposition your actor footage if needed Now let's add the lower third in the main edition. To add the text, simply right click and choose new title. and then place it on top of the lower third. And finally, let's take a look at adding your logo. Open up the logo sequence, import your logo, make sure your logo file is in PSD or PNG format with transparency, and add it on top of the footage. Now let's take a look at rendering this uh, project. Select the main edition and choose file, export, media, choose QuickTime. HD and click next to output 2 to set the destination path of your file. 